What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another late night in the Brew Lab with me, Lone Fox, your brewmaster in chief. And tonight in the Brew Lab, Outlaws of Thunder Junction has just dropped on the freaking client, baby. Finally, it feels so good to be back in front of the camera. I've missed you guys. I've missed doing this. I've missed brewing. Uh, I've I've really enjoyed my break though. I needed a bit of time to recharge the old batteries and uh, now that the fresh set has arrived including the big dump of big score stuff there's just endless possibilities. I really 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 love this time in, uh, in you know whenever a new set drops it's just my mind just goes poof, limitless possibilities. I almost feel a little bit paralyzed. It's just like open the all this all the boosters you have so many new cards and it's just like oh my god where do i begin but last night when the set first dropped i did uh already brew up something like four kind of early version ones of course i deleted everything start with a fresh slate i hardly watched any of the early access so i, I haven't let any of that sort of influence where my brewing is going and uh, initially, the first thing that came into my mind was like, look, we've got all of the new fast lands in uh, the enemy colors. Bulgari, Orzov, Izzet, um, Boros, and Simic. So let's freaking build aggressively slanted decks that we were not able to build without these lands. That, so that's going to be the next couple of videos. Of course, um, don't be surprised if the win rates aren't super fantastic because this is early days. We're here to test, 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 test. That's what the Brew Lab is all about. We're here to test the cards so that you guys can then know whether they're worth your precious, precious wild cards. And uh, we're going to uh, be, be going through some sort of early version ones. And then as the meta develops, we'll be refining these concepts, seeing whether they hold their ground in the meta and discuss, you know, up, future upgrades, that kind of stuff. So um, for tonight, we're going to be looking at a Golgari aggro deck, which is now going to be much better than previous versions that I tried because of the new land. So without further ado, let's jump into tonight's brew. Golgari aggro. And the new land is Blooming Marsh. Uh, unfortunately, these are always rares. You know, Wizards loves to do this. So, you know, if, if you're struggling on wild cards, but you like a specific color combination, I think your safe bet is to initially just go ahead and craft the rare lands. And then uh, that'll give you a, a good, you know, initial template with which to then continue brewing uh, around these colors as the meta progresses. But uh, I've, of course, gone and I've got the whole set already, so uh, I'm going to be testing it all out for you. But uh, these are these are finally enabling this type of strategy a little bit more. Where I've tried Golgari Aggro recently, actually, in the, on the channel, and uh, the fact that we didn't have this uh, made it really the mana just a lot worse. So it's it's mostly black with a little bit of a green splash, as you can tell from the spread here. We got six and four, um, and uh, it's a uh, commit crimes. Plus one, plus one counter synergies deck with a lot of new cards that I need to talk about. So we'll skip over some of the uh, older ones quite quickly. Cut down, Evolve Sleeper, Tenoti Scout, nothing crazy. We all know what these things do. Of course, uh, committing crimes is targeting any of your opponent's stuff. So cheap removal, fantastic. Um, and the main uh, payoff for committing these crimes is going to be Vadmir, New Blood. One of my favorites so far since I started playing with the new cards. You just put a plus one, plus one counter whenever you commit a crime. And then when it gets to four or more, it gets Menace and Lifelink. And this ends up being really, really good for so many reasons, um, which we'll get to. And it's interesting that it's the same threshold as one of my uh, older, like, you know, black-based aggro. I've, I've, I've put a Yara in uh, Rakdos aggro in the past, and Golgari aggro in the past. It also does a better thing when it gets to four or more. In the case of a Yara, it'll allow you to tutor up a card. Uh, in the case of Vadmir, the lifelink and menace. So um, finding ways to put plus one plus one counters on these guys quickly is the name of the game. And uh, we're going to be doing so by having Quirion die, <laughs> which always happens. And then we put uh, Quirion's plus one plus one counters on those two uh, with Vadmir by committing crimes, which we have plenty of removal spells to do so with. And then we've also got the proliferate from a bloaty boy here which also is a nice chunky body to get in front of mono red and whatnot but then we've also got another fantastic new card which happens to also be a mount 
uh, the ornery tumblewag. Uh, this card's gonna go in a lot of decks for me. This is really, really fun. I uh, can't wait to try it in, like, let's say, Golgari mounts. Maybe, um, Abzan mounts. Selesnia mounts. Uh, or just Selesnia plus one plus one. Or just mono and green aggro. Like, this is, I'm gonna try this all over the place. It's a freaking fun little card. Uh, three mana. Very much like the, uh, there's another, there's a soldier that puts a plus one plus one counter. So beginning of uh, combat, you put a plus one plus one counter. The added upside on this one is that you can saddle it for two, which is very low saddle cost, uh, considering what I've seen, uh, you know, in the new cards. There's a lot higher saddle cost. There's quite a low one. And then when it attacks, if it's saddled, you can double the number of plus one plus one counters on a target creature. That's, that's another great way to quickly get Vadmir where we want him to be. Um... Yeah, I mean, that's the deck. <laughs> There's only one new card left that I haven't talked about, and that is Rush of Dread. Of course, you've seen this already. It's making a bit of a scene because of the combination with the Aklazots Vampire. This was even in my top 10 list. I will be trying that deck out. It's just it's already been done a lot by the content creators that got into early access. So I'm going to try and put my own spin on it in the next couple of days. Stay tuned for that. But it also just is a great little card um, in general. Even if you're not trying to go for the combo, um, not only is it committing a crime, every mode on the spree is a targeting the opponent's something, and uh, all of the modes are fine here. We want to like get rid of some of the blockers because we've got menacing threats or trampling threats. Does that. Or we want the opponent to discard some of his hand. Does that. Or we can get them to lose half of their life and then swing in with our creatures. Also phenomenal. So, um, eh, you know. And who knows, maybe we get to a situation with this deck, which is unlikely, but it can happen, where we go later into the game, and at that point, we can do all of the things. Hell yeah. So, fantastic, fantastic card. And um, But maybe the one that I'm a little bit on the fence about could be that we try some other thing here in the three-drop slot. The other options that I tested in uh, you know, previous iterations of this brew was the Honest Rutstain. Um reduces the casting cost of creatures by one colorless so pretty nice and then you can bring something back from the graveyard which is also synergizing quite nicely with our bit of triumph so we're not having to pay the life we discard something and then the next turn we bring it back with the rut stain but maybe maybe ends up being better in sort of some sort of graveyard shenanigans deck alongside maybe insidious roots or whatnot we'll, we'll again it's early days we're trying things out I think that's enough talking, guys. And uh, without further ado, let us jump into some games and see how the deck holds up on the Mythic Ladder. This is looking great. This is needs a bit of work. This is obviously just busted. Um, stay tuned. Stay tuned is all I can say. These next couple of weeks are going to be fun af. And like I said, if we lose a lot, and I'm, I'm not too worried. I think a lot of people are still just going to be playing the stupid broken stuff from previous meta for the first couple of days while everybody gets their collections up and tries out new things. We're probably just going to be running into a lot of the usual suspects, unfortunately. Yeah, that's a mulligan. Wow, that sucks. Um, might have to be Vadmir that goes. Yeah, Hadging out. I really want to draw a black source with Sonoti, and then I want to keep Vadmir, and then I want to use the bit of Triumph to grow the Vadmir. But if we don't get, then there's, you know, it's more likely that we'll get to the three mana. Hmm. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's my guy. No, it's my guy. Let's just play it safe. Probably draw another one. Fingers crossed. Okay. I mean, we get another chance to draw something else. Orzov, huh? Ah. Esper. Ah. So sick of this bat. 
This is just going to be freaking Rafine on turn three. 89 card pile of trash. <sighs> Yay. Her fan. We're being pretty aggressive as far as green is concerned. Ah, huh. the old preacher. I think a Yara here is the better option. Bye. How do you find anything in a 100 pile of? Crap, okay. Close my mind. What are, you, what are you even doing here? You can crew, right? So the only thing that can attack here is going to be you and you. And if you want to, you know, block with the bat, I'm all for it, Mitch Connor. Noise. I love this card also. So sick. Severely underplayed. No one jams this. I really hope that Orzov this is going to go right in. Bye. <laughs> it's going to go right into my, like, Orzov human aggro thing with the new Orzov land, like, very, very soon. <laughs> Human, black, aggressive, cannot wait. <laughs> Thanks, Watsi. We really needed that card that we've already got like a full play set of. <laughs> Zero duplicate protection when it comes to that nonsense. Why even give us that? Okay, okay. Eh, could be better. Could also be worse. Sleeper on one. Could also be a lot worse. I don't know. I'm a little bit on the fence about holding this one. Ooh, we've got an opponent who's obviously splurged on some um, on some stuff. He's also got the little mount. So cool. Maybe something a bit more new. And it's not a 100 card pile of trash, so let's go. This I haven't played enough of. I think it's actually pretty damn good. The fact that it can't be countered, it's going to be fantastic against, say, Rafine. Ooh, one of Mulligans. Hmm. All the tumble wags. Yeah. Pick. You. Up. The Brit. It's gonna be the uh, Prophet's Eidetic Memory deck. Or Shao. Oh, nice. That's cool. Double Brushwag next turn? Yeah. I guess Slick Shot into Profts. Oh. Not here, huh? Good Tumblewag. Excellent for the team. But now he's going to leave his Slick Shot unprotected. Uh, double Slick Shot. Okay. Okay. That's going to flip this pretty quick. You're going to go for it? Ooh, I don't know if I would have done that. Hey, hey. Is it flyers? So flip, he'll waste his turn flipping this guy. And he'll tap out. And then we can just kill it. And go bonkers with the... Uh... Let's see. Does he swing with 
the Swift Spear too. No. That's a pity. Yep. Okay. Probably we'll just uh, discard. So no tea. I'm going to pay three life. Six, six coming through, you know, and uh, you've got you're in top deck mode, and we've got another tumble wag coming through. So let's see what you can pull out of the hat. Yeah, it has to be something that draws cards. I think we've got this one in the bag. That's a big hit. Three, six, nine. He goes for it. That's well, just game over immediately. What are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, yes, some victories. I've needed them. The last couple of decks I tried were not so good. Uh, deleted them right away, of course. This is uh, a good showing of somebody who's trying out new stuff, though. I'm all for it. Slickshot is a ridiculously good card. This thing is so good. It's like the red version of um, Audacity, Menace, Trample. Doors card when it puts in a graveyard. Like, hell yeah. <clears throat> but we definitely got to showcase the tumble wag there to full potential. And we had a third one in hand. That was a fun match. On to the next one. Is there anything with haste in green? And no, it's only the four drop slot that's got the haste. There's that new Axe Bane something Ferox. And the older called again the uh, Ulvenvald oddity a bit slower because no one dropped but not terrible that's uh, that's a spicy meatball and we're on the draw so maybe we draw the one drop I'll, I'll try it aha third land for our contaminator Imperion first, because it'll get counted or removed immediately. Full beam. That's what it's in the deck for, right? It's just a removal magnet. Uh, let's play another one. Counter spell. No. New counter spell. It's not amazing, I would say. Um, okay, I mean, let's keep trying to draw this stuff out of his hand, right? And then we'll, we'll put down some big guns. Oh, wow. That I was not expecting at all. We do have one copy of... Uh... You have one copy of... Uh, the Baseju. This obviously great with all the spree cards. Because, uh, yeah, obvious reasons. Can't wait to try that. Gross. I'm terrified now. beans
I have a feeling there's a gonna be a sweeper in my life. Extremely soon. That is a lot of, uh, wow, that is such a cool use of this thing. This thing is ridiculous, like such a cool kind of spell. I mean, you know what I mean? I don't really love me any black card, uh, blue cards very much, but that, this is a good one. Okay. Nice, man. Well played. I think we're dead. There's a chance. There's a slight chance. We may still have... Uh, you know, if he doesn't get rid of our creatures now. Okay. Of course he had it. <sighs> maybe Badmir, maybe a Yara. I wonder what he'll pick. Ayara. I think we're just screwed. Like, major screwed. Double mind splices. Not really the deck we wanted to run into tonight. But that's okay. We won our first two, so that's fine with me. Counter spell? No? Bushwag. Bushwag Mount. The or Ornery Tumblewag. What a cool name. Yeah, man. Freaking hell, dude. Yeah, there's just no way we're going to get out of this one. I'm fairly certain we're just completely screwed at this point. Cool. Mind Splice plus Spree cards. I am so going to play that. You also got a counter spell now for this? Like, please. Sweeper. Huh? <gasps> I mean, he's got the the the, the thingy, Majiggy. Yeah, so we can't do that. All right? We just have to wait. I mean, it's it's got four toughness. So does he want to? Trade? No. I mean, if he's clever, he'll use the demolition field to kill my demolition field so that I can't kill his uh, reef. Wow. Okay. Disgusting human being. I get to draw a card though. Woo! Curse cross. Oh, uh, green. Got that ready. Got another removal spell. Sweet deck, man. Like, I I'm down to try this ASAP. I don't even know if I'd go full Dimir, like, but this is a sweet deck, man. I 
If he doesn't swing, it means we might just have this. Yeah. All righty then. Giddy up, cowboy. That's the block. <gasps> yeah. Removal tribal. Sure. Never. Wait, these just look nicer after the update. Such a fan of my beautiful Godzilla lands still. This is it. It's a moment of truth. Did you find another sweeper or not? It's as simple as that. Oh. Oh. Ah, yes. yes. Oh, get freaking stuff, mate. Oh, that was so nice, but cool idea, man. Like the fact that you can copy the splice with the spree card there. Ah, I like it. I like it a lot. I really, really do. That is a that is a cool, 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 cool interaction. And as you saw, the you know the lot of the additional costs in the spree cards are colorless. So, um, you know, cost reduction from the the mine splice is going to make it really cool. Sure. Sucks with the pain lands, but that's okay. Another eighty card pile of trash. What's going on tonight? People don't do this. It's not a good way to play Magic. The only excuse you have, I've said this before, I'll say it again, is if you're playing uh, some kind of a... Oh, -ho! up there, pretty! You're playing some kind of a... Um, what's his name? Yeah. If you're playing some kind of a um, Yorion deck, then I'll accept it. Angel? Is this just freaking... What's his face? Domain again? Uh, good. Amazing. Off you go. Bye. No ramp for you. Get stuff. It's definitely domain. It might even be the domain with the invasion of whatever the the. Five colored invasion. Ooh. Ooh. Well, if you didn't, Jace. Really? You're gonna mill me? <laughs> Why, thank you. Better have a sweeper right now. Watch him have it though. It's gonna be deep pop in my face. Okay. That works. Let's give him the preemptory nice. Even though we know. Let's do it. Let's do it. I don't play 80 card piles, people. Please, just don't do it. 
happy happy brewmaster 30 minutes in i'm gonna keep these ones a little shorter because now i want to record another one right away i want to gather up some good recording now that the the brewing is fresh and early on in the meta so uh we're gonna leave it at that uh jumping back into the deck with some final thoughts and overall a review love it love it love it love it love the tumblewag love the vadmir uh you know what, what more can i say they're like the set is so sick and the fact that we got i mean i'm so happy they completed the cycle we get to finally i mean even three color combinations that were a bit of a problem we can we can tinker with now in more sort of aggressively slanted mid-rangey ag aggro gonna be possibility just guy suddenly like but in a not control deck but like a more creature based deck suddenly just becomes completely more viable like this this uh, cycle of lands is gonna enable a lot more brewing and that is obviously a great thing for me the key takeaways uh vadmir we didn't really get to see him pop off but i can imagine this going pretty nicely in some sort of like just again vampire tribal deck of some sort uh committing crimey type of a deck of some sort uh i wish we'd seen him pop off i had a few matches last night where he was like an 11 11 which is like doubling up the counters with tumble wag and swinging in with menace and life link gaining back the life that we lost from having to cast bit of triumph without wanting to discard things or you know the the life that we'd lost from drawing cards of sleeper and then you know you just gain it all back with bad mirror it's really really cool um i think we we did a good showing maybe a little bit of luck there we're against those more controlling decks but you know it is a luck based game after all and um like i said there's a few things here that we could have tried instead of certain other things maybe glissa maybe rustin uh you know if maybe in a best of three deck you'd play some terra sunders if you're running into somebody with artifacts or enchantments this uh, uh you know the sonoti scout here or maybe even the sleeper could have been the new tiny bones guy because that commits crimes get some stuff back from the opponent's graveyard Yeah, no. there's options. We're going to continue to refine this archetype. I love Golgari Aggro, and um, I don't think this is by any means the final iteration, but definitely a good initial uh, version. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Of course, as always, if you did, consider leaving a thumbs up, subscribing to the channel, uh, leave comments down below, share the video around. All of those things really help me out, especially now that the algorithm has been unfed for a few weeks while I took my break. I need to rev things up again a little bit so i will much appreciate all of those things they're free and easy to do and uh make your brewmaster happy chappy but that is gonna be it for this one i'll be seeing you all in the next one with another fresh fresh brew and until then <clears throat> this is lone fox from the brew lab signing out peace y'all